Good morning everybody. Right, a really quick one today, or this morning anyway, and it's really early, but never mind. Um, I was watching Treasure Books uh, yesterday, and um, she was making uh, pen holders, um, you know, to clip onto the side of your journals, and very inspired, lovely, was going to go for it, and she uses... Um, paper clips and you would you'd slot them in there go and have a look at her um, video because she you know it's very well described and all the rest of it but then um, I started watching Shabby Dabby Doodah this morning very early o'clock and she was messing around with magnets and I thought do you know those pen holders would for me work better if they were magnetized so this is a prototype uh, excuse me just grab a page and I've kind of sort of, I think that would work better. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I made them. Dead easy, really not complicated. Um, the magnets I've used in this one are very strong little diddy ones that I got off of um, Amazon. Uh, and they're super thin. I don't know if you can pick up how thin they are. Um, I got them because about, oh, cracky, two years ago, I was watching um, a card making. Sorry, they're very strong. I just need to get my thumbnail in there to get them apart. Um, I was watching a card making lady, and she'd made these um, sort of cardboard folios, and she was using these little magnets, and I thought, wow, because, I mean, that is... Sorry, as I say, they are very strong. Um, that is the thickness of these magnets. Focus. Okay, so not even a millimeter. Well, are they a millimeter? They might be. I don't think they are. Anyway, really tiny, but boy, are they strong. Okay, if I can find the link on Amazon where I got these, I will. Um, I'll share the link because um, I think they're just called ni um, niob niobium magnets. Um, but you can see how strong they are. Get off. Right. So um, so all I did was um, I made them exactly the same as Treasure Books shows you how to do it. So let me just quickly run you through that. As I say, go to her website. It's all um, her YouTube channel is all on there. Uh, she does recommend a size of card. I've decided to my, make mine. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. Here we are six inches by two inches so that's your six inch obviously and then two inch you can make them to whatever size you want and that's it in centimeters 15 by five all right just play around with it and just see what you want to do really so um i think this one's going to be slightly bigger than this one um but you can always cut it down when you've done all your folding so anyway um on um treasure books web um oh, YouTube video she shows you fold it in half get a piece of elastic and just there we are um, I've just zigzagged over it backwards and forwards uh, sorry like let me start again so you fold your card in half you take a very small slither she actually used a, a craft knife to make the hole I just got my scissors and um, well let me show you let me show you on this one right I was going to do this one with you so Let me just shove those over there. So obviously you want to get this in half. Am I in screen yet? So score it at the three inch mark or seven and a half centimetres. That doesn't work out, does it? Let me just trim that off. Sorry, two seconds. Right, trim that off. And then um, whatever width your elastic is. So if you're using, say, this black elastic, you could make a little mark either side of where you want to. I just eyeballed it. I wasn't going to faff around like that. So literally I came in from the edge, uh, roughly in the centre, and literally just chopped a tiny, tiny folded slither off. Okay, because all you need is a tiny hole like that just to be able to get your elastic through. Okay, so get your elastic through, right, uh, stitch it. 
I can't remember if she glued hers, but anyway, I stitched it because I want it to be um, stable. And that is essentially your pen holder. Let me grab a pen. So that's your pen holder bit. All right, you don't want it too loose, but you don't want it too wide either. Okay, so that's your pen holder. And then to accommodate the magnets, all I've done is, I don't know if you can see, um, I've just folded back the front cover basically so this one might be a bit small um but i'll, I'll do it anyway because it's one that i've used so if you're using the super skinny where are they now let's move that out of the way let me grab that because that'll be nice and white for the background there we are so if you're using these super skinny magnets okay the trick is is to get them apart i think it's best just to squish them and pull them the only thing you've got to watch is when you stick them in that you are actually getting the the positive and positive sides together so um the easiest way around that is to um and i forgot my pen uh, bear with me sorry a few seconds oh, i'll use this one um i usually just put a little dot i use a permanent marker i don't think these are permanent anyway just put a dot on the hang on put a little dot so you know that's one side and then that's the other okay so they're the two sides that you now know you've got to sorry it's not very good light is it so you now know you need to stick the side with the dots okay and that way you don't forget what you're doing and and you don't end up with um <clears throat> A negative and a positive because they'll just push each other apart as we all know about magnets well maybe not anyway right so you sit there um so as i say you can make this i think this one's going to be slightly yeah it is obviously so i think this is quite a nice length because that'll give you a nice tuck for in your um on your page although that one yeah i'll say if you're using these see i just Stuck these, yeah, that might be enough actually. But anyway, play around with the size. Um, right, I'll use this one because it's ready to go. So we're stitched, blah, 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 okay. And then I literally, I'm going to do it properly for you. So I know these are not quite a centimetre. Well, they're about a centimetre. So, um... Here we are. Just looking for me centimetres on the uh, folding board, or scoring board rather. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go two centimetres. She says. Um, I don't know what that is in inches. Let's go up to the inches. It's about three quarters of an inch. Okay, and then just fold that over. And all we're doing is making a casing for the magnet, okay? And I'll just do the other side. So again, two centimetres or three quarters of an inch. It's ish, you know, it doesn't, doesn't have to be that exact size. Okay. Right, so you end up with... Move that out of the way now. Just give it all a good score down, just so it sits nicely. We deal with the stitching on the back here in a minute because um, I've got a couple of, stick, um, you know, uh, decorative bits to put on. So you've got something like that. If you make this longer, like that one, I think you might actually be able to fold it double. Which would cover, yeah. So that actually be, that's actually a perfect size then I'm going to say. Yeah, so that was the um, 6 by 2, 6 inches by 2 or 15 by 5. So I think that's quite a good size. But I'm going to work with this one for now because it's here. So um, get your magnet. Okay, remember the side with the dot. <laughs> this is why it needs to be a permanent pen. I've just smudged all that off. But I'm going to put that there. So that's the side with the dot. And that needs to go down here. So I'm gluing the side with the dot. Where's my glue? Right. Any glue. Don't get hung up on glue. Just any glue will do. 
Okay, and then all I'm doing, line screen, yeah, I'm just trapping it roughly in the middle. Again, you'll find these, if you can get these, these are so blooming strong that you don't even have to line them up. Um, if you are pedantic about lining them up, put them together like so. And then what you can do is squish, squish like that. And that'll give you a mark on this side, if you can see that. See it. Yeah, that'll give you a mark there so you know exactly where you are. So this is the side we need to glue because the other side is obviously stuck to the other magnet. So <laughs> if you can get them off, turn it over and it's got to go there. If you want to double check yourself, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let me glue one there. Of course, my glue's decided not to come out. Thank you. You can ink this all up beforehand if you want to. You can do it after. Um, and... Ugh, hang on. Ugh, yuck. Get off. Okay, just double check you've got your magnets around the right way. I have. That's snapping together beautifully all right so that's fine because it's not too late to peel that apart and turn your magnet around basically so just give that a minute to sit there and set so as you can see with this one i've just got some i think these are arty mazes freebies that i just shrunk down in size it's a little bit lumpy bumpy so you might want to do you could i mean honestly the the lim the sky's the limit um because with this one and this one's the same. <laughs> Love that. Um, you've obviously got the ugly bit to cover, okay? Um, if you do this size, the six by six by two, that will actually come over both sides and cover the ugly bits. So you you wouldn't have to worry if you do one this size. I was just messing around with sizes, didn't really know what I needed, so I just cut something. Um, so obviously I've I've got to cover this middle bit. Um, does it, it doesn't need to open right out. I think it's gone a little bit tight on this one with the cardboard. You can see here, I put an extra bit of card on there just to cover up the ugly bits. Um, but it doesn't need to, you know, lay flat, so that's fine. Um, it just needs to do that. So I thought the beauty of this was, it, A, you are not going to risk ripping your page, because I sometimes do, with paper clips. Um, and it can go anywhere in a journal, um, literally anywhere. Have I got a journal? Hang on. I still haven't stitched this one. I'm such a slacker. Right, let me um, get the lid on my glue. Um, yeah, so the idea is, is that, it, as I say, it can literally can keep them apart long enough. Um, let's say you wanted it here. Well, you wouldn't want it there, would you? Because you want it on your, you want it on an outside page. So, just like so. Okay. So that would be your little pen holder at the side there. Let's see, because you can never find a pen when you want one. Let's see if they're strong enough. I might have to push it right in actually, just to give it a little bit of oomph. But yeah, that holds fine. No problem at all. Okay. And then, you know, when you want your pen, you can just pull that out. It's, you know, it just pulls out so easy. It's not going to rip your page. Um, and I think, I think I can see in my future, I'll be making quite a few of these. So the other thing is, um, if you can't, as I say, I will try and find the Amazon link for these. They're fantastic. Um, the other ones that I've found are these uh if you're in the uk you can get these i think i got these in the works it's a it's a craft brand they're not very strong i'm going to try it now actually i don't think they're going to be strong enough for what we want um you might not be able to cover them that's all i'm thinking because i think they're going to lose even more um magneticness um so anyway it comes in a pack like that i got them from a place nearby it's called traeger mills um yeah so it comes in a pack like that and then you also get a strip of magnet so i've 
got these and then I've got a piece. I just chopped a small piece of the strip magnet off. Uh, beauty of that is it's um, self-adhesive. So uh, we'll give them a go anyway. Right. Um, so in, as I say, just to cover the ugly bits, just get a piece of you know, coffee dyed paper or something. You could make it a mini little journaling spot if you wanted to. But yeah, just cover it. And then obviously on the outside, um, if you've got any of these um, stampy things from China, you can cover it with whatever you want. Um, and obviously you've got to do the back as well. So, okay. But again, you know, just, just play with it. I've got this bit ready here to go. Um, the only thing I would suggest is decide which way round... Um, which way oh, it's going to go that way isn't it obviously so when you stick on your embellishment obviously this one isn't folded this is Artie Mays's freebies I shrunk them right down to postage stamp size well a little bit bigger than postage stamp but anyway um so once that's folded in that would be there and then any decoration you'd want to put it on the edge where the pen holder is because um otherwise it'll be lost in your book that way so I think it could sort of double up as a a dangly thing and, and a pen holder and um, the other thought I had was um, I put an eyelet on but if you put an eyelet on as I say um, that would be the way it goes onto your page if you're going to put an eyelet I would just put it on the front cover right the front bit so that will dang oh actually where would you put it no you'd put it here wouldn't you yeah so put it here but only do it on the front cover because if you go right through, obviously you're not going to be able to open. Does that make sense? Let me just, um, where's my cropper dial? Oh, it's away. Okay, so yeah, ju I would just make an eyelet here, but only on the front cover. So open it out, chomp it, make a hole, put your eyelet in, and then you can hang dangles and all sorts of things. So that when that's on the page, I like saw. Okay, your, your dangle will just come down the front and you'll be able to open this no problem at all all right so that's that and um, the other thought was use your snippet trim okay just pop a bit of a snippet on you only want a sliver doesn't need much okay i quite like the idea of putting the um dangly on so i'm going to do some of those um when i come off screen i just wanted to give you the idea as i say i don't think bits everywhere now i don't think these are going to be strong enough no i don't think they are i think they're really really weak we'll give it a go let's give it a go this is a scrappy one anyway so again it's sewn in okay you see the stitches on the back there um so if you get one that's self-adhesive, obviously you don't have to kind of wedge it in between. So let's just see what we can do with these. You'd still want to cover it. I would just, um, if you're using these thinner magnets, I would just use um, coffee dyed paper. Again, if you want to get it dead on accurate, just squish it together without the other magnet on. And then when you open it up, sorry, my handwriting's in there as well. You'll see it leaves an indent. I can see it anyway. It's just there. If it's picking up, yeah, I think it is. Um, so you know exactly where to stick your other magnet so it's spot on. I say with those little ones, it doesn't, it's not mega important. Okay, they're rubbish. They call themselves craft magnets. Why isn't that sticking now all of a sudden? What have we got there? It shouldn't make a difference. Huh. Uh, they're rubbish. Okay, don't waste your money on those. Um, I think they're alright for other little bits and bobs, but they're not going to be strong enough for this. Yeah, okay. I'll definitely try and find that link for you. Um, they take a while. They come from China, I think. Um, but they're just amazing little magnets. 
The other thing you could do, I mean, for these, it would be overkill. Um, you can get the badge magnets. Um, well, I'm going to have a play around later with doing um, uh, journal closures um, using these stronger ones because they are super strong. Okay, obviously, they're, they're meant for name badges and things. So um, I'm going to sort of endeavour to find a way that would stick on the front of the journal. And then this would be enclosed in something, fabric something, don't know. And then you would just bring it over and boom. That's a really strong magnet, that one. So, um, yeah, so I think my only recommendation is these. So uh, unless you can find, I mean, say these are just rubbish, really. Why am I even keeping them? Yeah, not good. OK, all right, I'm going to leave those out. So, yeah, embellish away. Um, you know, they can, you can just do whatever. I was, I was contemplating whether you could actually have lace dangling from them. That's a much better size. Look at that. It completely covers the inside, the ugly bits, as I call it. So I was wondering how we could get lace. I guess you could trap it in between. Well, you could just have it here and dangling down, couldn't you? glue everywhere glamorous um yeah i think there's a lot of possibilities i'm gonna I'll say i'm gonna mess around with the um journal closure idea and um you know some more embellishment bits and bobs here i really like the idea of the eyelet so again on that side and then it can dangle down inside your book hmm okay i'll make that do for this one um i'm gonna hopefully do a couple today um because uh, but, but, but I, well, I need to st stitch all my scraps together, so I'll get on with that. Anyway, I'll leave this for now. Mini tutorial. Thank you very much. And I'll catch up in the next video of all the bits and bobs I've made. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.